Welcome back traders, what's going on? In the previous lecture, I have discussed about two special moving averages that we will use to have an extra trade confirmation in our price action chart. And in this lecture today, I will show you how to confirm an uptrend market using swing trading strategy and then the method to trade the uptrend using those two special moving averages along with the swing trading strategy. So let's start. As you can see, this is a day chart of pound versus yen where we have two moving averages as our only indicators in this price action chart. And you will also notice that the market is trending in the downward direction on this price action chart at the moment. The most recent candle on this price action chart is a bullish candle where the candle has formed after a pin bar candlestick pattern at the bottom, which indicates that the bullish momentum is getting stronger over the sellers. So chances are huge that price will rise again after this bullish candle. Either price will rise to have a retracement or to create a new lower high level of the current downtrend or the price will rise to form a new uptrend. Whatever happens, we don't need to worry all that about. Just wait for the exact signal to in or out of the market. Now let's say, from this stage if the market rises up and create an uptrend formation by making continuous higher highs and higher lows, then this bottom level which is the current lowest price of the market would be the first higher low point of the upcoming uptrend on this price action chart based on swing trading strategy. So let's just wait and see what happens next. And as I uncover some more price action, then you can see that price rose up and even breaks the previous top, which is a small indication for the bearish traders that the downtrend momentum is maybe going to have an end. But still, the downtrend momentum remains strong as you can see a strong bearish candle has formed at the lower high point of the current downtrend market. So there are so much possibility that the price will go down after this bearish candle at the top and hence the downtrend will continue its journey towards the downward direction. So we will consider this current top as a lower high level of this downtrend market. But if the price goes down and then without breaking the previous bottom, price rise up and break the previous top, then the current top will be considered as higher high level 1 in terms of uptrend formation using swing trading strategy. Now let's see on which direction the price ultimately goes. And as I uncover some more price action, then you can see that price went down but could not break the previous bottom to continue the current downtrend momentum. You will also notice that a pin bar has formed and even a bullish candlestick has also appeared after the pin bar where the bullish candle has closed above both the moving average lines, which indicates that the selling pressure is so weak to bring the price more down to continue the downtrend momentum which means the buyers are getting stronger over the sellers. So possibilities are more that the price will continue to rise up after this bullish candle. And if that happens, then we can call the current bottom level as higher low level too. Now if we traded short at the previous bearish candle, since it was a signal to trade short as we were in a lower high level of a downtrend market, then we may consider to close the trade right now by the time we see this pin bar and a bullish candlestick pattern at the bottom since it seems like the downtrend is going to have an end. That's how sometimes we can close a trade when it seems like the trend will change its direction, so that we can reduce the loss size if the trend really changes its direction. But because we have not confirmed the uptrend yet, so we should not trigger any long trade entry here after the bullish candle. So let's wait and see if the price goes up from this bottom level and make a new top level so that we can name the top as higher high 2 and have the final confirmation of the new uptrend. And if I again uncover some more price action, then you can see that price rose up by breaking the previous top and you will also notice that a bearish pin bar or hanging man candle has appeared at the top. So we can assume that price will fall down after this pin bar at this swing high level. And if that happens, then we can name the current top or swing high as higher high level 2. So until now we have two higher highs and two higher lows in this price action chart, which means technically the uptrend is now confirmed. So now we will wait for another retracement or next higher low to form so that we can trigger our very first long trade entry on this newborn uptrend. So let's wait and see what the market brings us next. And as I uncover some more price action, then you can see that price went down for a retracement after that bearish pin bar at the top. You will also notice that a strong bullish pin bar candlestick pattern has appeared after the bearish rally at the retracement level. The long tail of the pin bar below the moving average lines shows very strong bearish rejection and even this bullish pin bar gets closed by staying above both the moving average lines. So these moving averages has worked as dynamic support here at this retracement level. This is an indication that we are in a valid higher low level on this new uptrend. 
So now that we have an uptrend confirmation, a valid higher low level on that uptrend, a strong bullish candlestick pattern at the higher low level, and an extra confirmation with the two special moving average where these moving average lines preventing price to go more down, what else do we need to trigger long trade entry? Well, you can use 100 more indicators, but they will only confuse you instead of giving you the understanding of market psychology and exact trade signal. This combination is the most accurate and highly probable price action setup to trigger long trade entry. So now you can confidently trigger long trade entry at the pin bars closing using the standard pin bar trading method, and then wait for a good amount of profit to earn from this newborn uptrend market. And again, remember one thing very carefully that never raise your trade volume and do not take risk more than 3% of your total trading capital and never forget to set the stop loss because the market can change its momentum at any time without any sort of alert. So always be disciplined to the proper money management system along with the trading strategy. Now if I uncover the rest of the price actions of this chart, then you can see that how nicely this uptrend has continued its journey towards the upward direction by making continuous higher highs and higher lows. And notice how every higher low level as well as the strong bullish candlesticks has formed right above the moving average lines. These moving average lines worked as dynamic trend line and as well as dynamic support in this price action chart. In an uptrend market, price always tends to get rejected to go more down below these moving average lines. So if a strong bullish candlestick pattern gets closed by staying above the moving average lines at the higher low level of an uptrend market, then it is the best signal to trade long. Practice this setup using old price action chart. Without practicing any strategy by your own, you won't be able to use that strategy to make consistent profit. So that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the lecture. In the next video, I will give you examples of trading on a downtrend market using these moving average lines along with the basic swing trading strategy. So we'll see you in the next lecture. Till then, have a nice day and goodbye.